Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or Nuznos here, and today's video is going to be a video all about the criminal bolts and how to use them, which ones are good, and why they are just so powerful. So if you enjoy content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We're so close to hitting 10K. So if you can, please hit that subscribe button below and also make sure to leave a like on the video because it really helps get these videos out there to more people. So without further ado, let's get into the guide on the criminal bolts and how, why, which ones you should use and where you should use them. So first we're gonna start out by talking about what are the criminal bolts. Well, the criminal bolts are bolts that are fletched from a bloodwood tree and they require level 80 range to use. Now keep in mind these can only be used with crossbows, so you can't use these with longbows or anything else. They can be tipped with a variety of different gemstone tips and then also enchanted to provide a bunch of different effects in combat. In short, the criminal bolts are what make crossbows so powerful compared to the bow because of the versatility of the different bolts you can use and they're honestly a must have for PVMing with ranged. All right, so firstly, we are going to look at the most popular Bacriminal Bolt and one of the most powerful, which is the Ruby Bacriminal Bolts Enchanted. Now, I often get asked in my videos, how do I manage to hit so many 10Ks or 12K max hits? And honestly, the reason, putting it simply, is the Ruby Bacriminal Bolts E. So the Ruby Bacriminal Bolts have a special effect called the Blood Forfeit Effect. Now, this has a 5% chance to trigger and what this effect does is it will drain the target for up to 20% of their remaining life points while dealing the player 10% of their own life points as recoil. But guys, don't pay too much attention to the damaging effect on you because when you're soul splitting or PVMing you will honestly barely notice it. So as you can tell by this effect, these bolts are extremely powerful and you can couple these bolts with the Elite Seer's Diary achievements for an increase in the bolt proccing chance, and then the Ranged Cape also offers an increase in the Criminal Bolt special effect chance. So basically for all the bolts that I talk about in this video, you can do the Elite Seer's Diary and get the Ranged uh, 99 Cape perk, and those will all massively increase how often your bolts proc and will just increase your DPS in general. So back to the Ruby Bolts, they are amazing for pretty much every boss fight with high HP. I use them almost everywhere and you'll be hitting tons of 10Ks and 12Ks. However, once a boss gets below a certain HP, these bolts will stop being as effective. So that is why most people bring a bolt switch for after their boss is at lower HP, which will bring us into the next Bacriminal Bolt I'm going to talk about, which is the Hydrix Bacriminal Bolts. Now, the Hydrix Bacriminal Bolts are by far the most expensive Bacriminal Bolt, but they're probably the most overpowered. So these bolts are tipped with Hydrix and cost a steep 35k each bolt. However, the special effect is called the Death Mark effect, and it will instantly grant the player 10% adrenaline and an additional 1% from basic abilities for 15 seconds. Subsequent activations while under the effect of Death Mark will refresh this effect. So abilities like Rapid Fire also have a chance to trigger this effect and gain you adrenaline on every single hit of Rapid Fire, and it's the same with Greater Ricochet. Now, the reason that these bolts are so overpowered is for instances when you need to do more damage and you need more adrenaline, so like DPS checks. So for instance, a place where I love to use these is at the Crystals at Siryu. Basically, what I'll do is when I run out of adrenaline, I'll throw on the Hydrix bolt tips and use a greater ricochet. And I kid you not, I have gone from 15% adrenaline to 80% adrenaline before in one basic ability. It's honestly that OP. Now, you won't gain that much adrenaline every time, but if you use Hydrix bolt tips with things like greater ricochet or rapid fire, they can just gain you so much adrenaline and can be used to spam more threshold abilities 
or spam Debo specs, which is just absolutely amazing for DPS. Of course, we have the downside of them costing so much, but in certain bosses and certain scenarios, they're honestly well worth the price. All right, so next we're going to be moving on to a more popular but criminal bolt to use as a switch from your ruby bolts instead of hydrix, and that is the Dragonstone but criminal bolts E. Now, these are on the cheaper end, and they have a special effect called Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath will hit the target a second time for 25% of your current attack as Dragon Fire. Keep in mind that fighting dragons, they will be immune to this attack, but it can hit everything else. So these bolts are very basic, but are really good as an all-around type of criminal bolt to use. They're good for lower or med-level boss scenarios or places that you don't feel comfortable using the Ruby and Hydrix combo and just want a cheaper option. They will still give you a really nice damage output and I personally use them at lots of mid-tier bosses myself. So next on our list is the Onyx Bacriminal Bolts E. Now these bolts have a special effect called Life Leech, which deals 25% more damage and also heals the player for 25% of the damage potential of the attack, capping at 2500 life points. The nice thing about Onyx Bolts and the places that I personally use them are places that I'm more concerned about conserving food than damage. So for instance, you can have a chill time at a place like the Magister using these bolts as you'll be healing a ton with these and also with Soul Split and you'll probably not have to eat much at all. These are also nice because they work with the Onslaught ability as well. And you can always bring these to places that use Onslaught like a Raxor. And if you use Onslaught on the last phase of a Raxor, this can help keep your health higher and you can maybe do more Onslaught hits and damage. Now, these cost in the upper end at about 11k each and are pretty decent, although they are a kind of niche. All right, so finally, the last but criminal bolt that I'm going to talk about that I feel like is worth using in PVM are the Diamond but criminal bolts E. Now these bolts are also on the cheaper end like Dragonstone, and they have a special effect called Armor Pierce, which will deal 15% more damage to the target with perfect accuracy. This means these are great for bosses that have lower accuracy, and that's the only place I would really use them. So you would want to use these at places that you have lower accuracy against the boss so maybe if you don't have a good aura up or you're fighting a really tanky boss these are a pretty good cheap option to use for the price but they're probably the least used out of the list we talked about today so I hope you guys can now see how powerful the criminal bolts are and why things like the tier 85 wyvern crossbow can out DPS a tier 90 noxious longbow. I really encourage anyone still using a bow to go and get a crossbow tier 80 plus and to try out using the criminal bolts and you'll see just how powerful they are. So thanks for watching guys, make sure to leave a like down below if this helped you, and subscribe for more RS3 content, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.